Let me show you a picture. Study it for a few moments. Now, how reliable an eyewitness would you make? What color were the man's eyes? What about his hair? How long was his hair? Did he have any identifying scars, mustache, beard, glasses? What kind of clothes was he wearing? Police rely on descriptions to track down criminals. But very often the eyewitness accounts are inaccurate. In many cases, there are no eyewitnesses at all. Three high school students are about to find out how crucial a witness can be. And their reliable source is truly beyond belief. supposed to be better than Spirits Within or any of the sequels. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, sure. I got the position of the party. Cool. This is a kid whenever you your age. Oh my god, I look so fat. I should never stand next to Melissa. She looks like a model. Where is she anyways? Uh, Melissa's always late. Come on, let's go in. She can find us by following your screen. I believe you made me miss the last 20 minutes. I told you I don't like scary movies. Something's going on. Come on, let's go. Hey, what happened? There's been a shooting. Was it a drive-by? Sometimes I see gangs around here. Did you girls see any tonight? No, we were in the movie. I'm going to need to take your names anyway. I might have some questions for you later. Melissa. It's been two weeks and the police still don't know who did it. This is awful. I wish there was something we could do. I miss Melissa so much. I can't believe they haven't found anybody who saw it happen. Yeah. Seems like the only witness was poor Melissa. Maybe there is something we can do. Let's all meet back here tonight after dark. wish to summon the spirit of our friend Melissa and ask the spirit world to allow a door to open between our dimensions. Our beloved Melissa, we ask that you commune with us and move among us. Our beloved our Melissa, Melissa, we ask that you commune with us and, and move among us. Our beloved Melissa, we ask that you commune with us and move among us. If you are there, Melissa, Please rap once. What's happened? the shop that killed you.
still with you. See all? What's that supposed to mean? It's Melissa. You guys, it's Melissa. She's telling us the name of her killer. Jesse Hall. Jesse Hall, that's the guy that got kicked out of school for having a gun in his locker. Yeah, I heard he joined a gang. He even shaved his head. We've got to call the police. Well, they're going to think we're nuts if we say Melissa's ghost called us. I, I just won't give them my name. I'll say there was a witness. I just won't say it was Melissa. Detective Patterson, we spoke the night of the shooting. Oh, yeah, hi. I stopped by to let you know we found your friend Melissa's killer. An anonymous tip led to the arrest of Jesse Hall, a gang member. He confessed while in custody. Ms. Butler, did you know when a call comes into 911, the caller's address is displayed on a computer screen? Oh, I guess I didn't. But I'm not the witness. I made a call for a friend. Well, then you did the right thing. And your friend is very special. Yeah, she was. Could Melissa really have been the key witness in her own murder? Did the seance really work? Or was one of the girls harboring a terrible secret? One which she used the seance to reveal? Or did the three girls imagine they were hearing their dead girlfriend's message? Does this story sound like a lie? Or does it capture the spirit of truth?